So today I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite tools, a platform called Loom.com. It's a simple video or screen capture software that I use all the time. And in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to actually download it and install it, how to actually use this software to its best capability and actually how to share it, how to easily share it with peers or colleagues and how to get some real quick feedback. So I'm just going to jump straight on over into my computer and show you exactly how I use this tool to actually save me time. So to navigate to this page, all you need to do is type in loom.com or you can just Google loom and it should get you to this homepage. Now, there are a few things I want to talk about before we actually start. There are a few price points uh, for loom. And the best thing about this is th there is a free price point. Now, I've been using Loom for a good few years now, and for the longest time, I've used the free starter pack. So here, it's everything is free. It's just you can't record for any length of time above five minutes. So if you're going to be using short videos, and I mean like anything up to five minutes for the duration of this, you can actually use this starter pack. But if you wanted to use anything above five minutes, then you might have to spring for the business or the enterprise. So for here, then you can actually sign in or create your free account using Loom. I just use Loom. I sign in with my Google account. Uh, you can either sign into this desktop version or you can actually get the Chrome extension. If you just, again, Google Loom Chrome extension or go to the Chrome uh, web store and just Google or look for Loom, and then you can actually get this. And I'll show you how to use both the web-based application and the Chrome extension. So I use this platform for sharing a, a message with either my colleagues or either my customers or just any peers that it's a message that is a little bit more than a couple of words, but it's actually a very, very quick way of sharing your screen, sharing your video and sharing your audio to actually showcase a problem or a challenge or actually just a review of something that you've done using uh, Loom is very, very quick. So I'm just going to log in and show you how to do this. So sign in. I usually just sign in with Google and I sign in just with um, my Google account. So it's going to open up straight away into the library page or your videos page. I'm going to start with the home page. There are also lots of uh, communities and Q and A's you can actually um, ask questions for or see how to videos on actually how to best use this platform. But I'm going to run through it today in this video. My library, these are a video database of my library. I've recorded um, hundreds of videos using Loom. There's notifications here. If anyone um, either comments on any of my videos uh, or has watched them, you get a notification. You can uh, click for watching later. There's a history of my videos here. Um, and then you can obviously go to the community and then go into settings. Here, the settings, you can either have a personal or a workspace. And here I just use my my personal. I just have me, one member. If I had more team members that I'd want to add, I would just use those and then add them into this account. But I'm going to go back to my library here. And you can either um, start a new video from this web-based application here. You can record a video. Or I've actually installed the web browser. So if I wanted to create a video of, uh, say, my homepage, uh, I could then go to the uh, web browser here. Uh, the Chrome extension, sorry. And then as you can see, it's picking up my voice as I'm talking now. There's a few things here that I want to talk through. So you can either record the full screen uh, or you can just uh, record the camera as well. The camera would come up and you've got the option of using the face uh, FaceTime HD camera. Uh, I'm just going to record for no camera for now, but that would come up in the bottom left here. Uh, or the default microphone, I'm going to actually use... Um, I'm going to go Rode Podcaster. Well, I'm just going to leave it as a default just so it's picking this up. And then I'm just going to use full screen. But a couple of things here, you can you can actually use effects or you can use the blur function um, or you can add different uh, canvases here. In this little settings here, you can actually um, have a recording countdown timer on or off, recording controls on or off. You can flip the camera, you can mirror it uh, or you can show recording time. So I'm going to showcase all of those functions as I just try and record. I'm obviously doing a screen recording now, but I'm doing a screen recording of a screen recording. So I'm going to use uh, full screen. I'm going to start recording. And then you've got an option here. You can either go to entire screen. Um, you can select a window that you're going to be using uh, or you can use the Chrome tab. So I'm just going to go entire screen. So um, you can actually record your 
entire computer screen and then you can actually edit that later. So I'm just gonna click share. As you can see, it gives me a three, a two, a one, and then you can actually start your recording. So if I had a message to a client and I've just built out their homepage, I can actually scroll through their homepage um, and say a little bit about what I've built out and what I suggest going forward. So all you need to do is this is actually capturing my voice. This is actually capturing, uh, I haven't put a video on here, but this is actually capturing my screen. If at any, uh, at any stage you wanted to actually pause, there is a little pause function here, which is quite good if you actually run out of words to say, or you need some time to think of the next section, you just simply hit pause and then it'll give, give you some time to gather your thoughts and then you can hit then unpause. Um, or you can actually just start over. It's, it's a little restart button here for you. Um, so yeah, that, that's basically this video. I'm gonna click stop. Then that is gonna actually save that immediately. And it's got this little cute AI function now that it's actually listening to what I'm saying and it does transcribe everything you're saying. So it's really impressive. It's given me a title for this video. So explaining the client's homepage. That's exactly what I've been talking, talking you through. And it's got a copy link. So there is no need to upload a video. There is no need to download a video. All you need to do once you've created an account or you've used the web browser is you've got, you simply copy that link and then shoot that off to somebody, whether it's in a chat or an email, and they've got a link to this video. Now you can go and play this back just to see if um, this video is, is good to go, but that's it. What I would do a couple of points here, what I would try and, and share is um, naming convention. If this is for a client named Tom, I would probably start with with that. If it's actually showcasing something for my team and I'm looking at uh, market, marketing or clients, um, I would just try and use a naming convention here that you can actually showcase uh, across your whole website. So when you're actually in the, uh, the Loom settings and you're actually going into your library, you can just use uh, the search function here and you can search for any of the videos that you've created and then it should spit out the video that you just created. But this is good to go. This should now be in my library. Um, and what I would do is I would share this to uh, the client. A couple of things here that I wanna point out, there is an edit function here. And if you, um, if you went over a little bit or uh, if you had to pause or you didn't start too well, uh, there is a little split and trim here. So it will take a few few steps to actually uh, regenerate, but all you can do here is say like, if you wanted to cut the ending off, you can just simply click and drag to where you wanna cut that ending off. And then once you hit save, that will save your video recording and then it instantly will update. So if anyone uses that link, it will actually see your edited version. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna cancel that for now and discard any changes. If anyone sees this, so I'm gonna copy this link and open an incognito tab. And then this is what people are actually gonna see. So I'm gonna get a notification. Now if I, if I hit play, if I hit play, Loom will now give me a notification that someone has actually started watching that. So I've actually just got a notification on my watch now. Um, but here, if they wanted to comment and engage, they could simply comment under here um, and then even put their name and comment and then you would get a no notification of that comment. So you can have dialogue either by someone responding to your email or your chat or actually commenting uh, directly under this video. So a few cool functions there to actually use. What I like to do is if I was uh, reaching out to someone with uh, a Loom video and I wanted to grab their attention, you can actually click the share icon here and you've got some socials or on some embeds. This is a really good one. So if I copy GIF thumbnail, uh, and then if I was to go and then put that into uh, an email, it would then actually come up with a, a GIF or a GIF, however you say it, but it'll be an animated one for so the first few seconds. So if you have got yourself on the video, actually do some animation, say hello, um, and they would actually get that GIF thumbnail. So if it's in their email, they're more likely to click um, and have a look at what, you're, what you have to say. And that is it, a super quick tour on how to use Loom. If you've ever thought to yourself, oh, I just really wanna to reply to this individual, but I need to show them something or talk them through something, 
it's a great way of actually just recording a couple of minute video and then shooting that off to them. It's actually going to take you a lot longer to actually re record um, or, or write out an email to them or, or in a chat message. So just simply hit record, record your screen, talk over it, walk and talk them through what your question is or what your review is all about and then hit send and then you get some notifications when they've watched that and if they have any comments for you. And one of the cool little things I like about this is it's also available on your mobile app. So um, you can actually use this on the go. So download it to your mobile and actually use Loom. Do a recording from your phone uh, if you wanted to do any walkthroughs or talkthroughs and then send that link out to them. So that's it. Love to have any questions, post them down below. Um, hopefully you found value in this video. This is one of the tools that I use to run my online business. And I actually set out and designed my online business with some five simple steps. And if you want to get a copy of this guide, my five simple steps to generating online revenue, you can head on over to timpeatman.com forward slash five steps and get your copy today. Download it. Have a look to see how I've actually built out this online business. I look to actually grow a micro business and become a solopreneur. So if that excites you, if that interests you, head to timpeatman.com forward slash five steps and I look forward to seeing you again on another video soon.